Hello everyone, listen, we are back with another stimulus payment update. Listen, when negotiators were trying to reach an agreement on the next stimulus package, it seemed like a second stimulus check was inevitable. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows spent weeks meeting with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer, but the talks ended with no agreement in sight on the next package. No agreement in sight. The negotiations, they centered around several key issues, but it seemed like a second check was not one of them. The House of Representatives passed the HEROES Act in May, as you remember, and it included a stimulus check. When Senate Leader Mitch McConnell introduced the various parts of the HEROES Act, it also included a stimulus check. It seemed like the one thing we didn't have to worry about was a stimulus check. The HEROES Act offered a $1,200 per person payment, $2,400 for joint filers, to those who earn less than 75 k 150 k for joint filers, with a 5% phase out for those earning more than the limit. It also increased the amount for dependents to $1,200 and included all dependents up to three per household. This is higher than what was offered in the first stimulus check. This HEROES Act offered the same base economic impact payment as the HEROES Act. $1,200 per person, $2,400 for joint filers, so Americans who earn less than $75K, $150K for joint filers, with the 5% phase out of those earning more than the limit. It would only add $500 for each dependent with no age restriction, but also no limit on the number of dependents. Both bills structured the payments as an advance on a refundable tax credit. If negotiators could reach an agreement on the other parts of the package, stimulus checks were safe. Secretary Mnuchin even said the Treasury could issue checks in as soon as a week after passage into law. However, GOP leaders have been circulating a 169-page draft bill this week colloquially called the skinny plan, and it doesn't include a stimulus check. It focuses on other aspects of relief, but a stimulus check is not one of them. That's not a good thing. Now, what's in this 169-page skinny plan? Well, we don't know for certain until the draft is released, and since the Senate is not currently in session, a bill won't be introduced until they return. What we do know, courtesy of CQ Roll Call, is that it includes unemployment insurance benefits, liability protection for businesses, aid to schools, and funding for the Postal Service. The skinny bill would provide $300 in weekly unemployment insurance benefits through December 27th, which is similar to what President Trump tried to implement with his executive memorandum. The bill would also add additional funding into the Paycheck Protection Program that would be offered to businesses that experienced a 35% revenue loss compared to one year ago. It also includes a liability shield similar to the one introduced in the Hills Act. The liability shield protects businesses, schools, medical providers from lawsuits arising from this current situation we're going through as long as they did not demonstrate gross negligence. It would also cover several other pieces of the HEALS Act, including $105 billion funding for schools and universities, $29 billion for vaccine development, and $16 billion for testing and contact tracing. Finally, for the United States Postal Service, it would cancel the debt provided by the CARES Act if the USPS's cash balances fell below $8 billion. The CARES Act gave the USPS a $10 billion loan, but this skinny bill would turn it into a grant if the USPS had paid less than $8 billion in cash. Why was the stimulus check excluded? The biggest issue right, with this next stimulus package was its total cost. The HEROES Act passed by the House has a price tag of over $3 trillion. The White House wants a package closer to $1 trillion. Speaker Pelosi has offered to bring the cost down to $2 trillion, but the White House insisted that was still too much. That's why the talks have stopped. According to the Joint Committee on Taxation, sending a second round of stimulus checks in the HEROES Act would cost over $400 billion. 
The Congressional Budget Office estimated that the stimulus checks of the CARES Act cost less than $300 million. The total cost of the next packet, well, that would be considerably lower if it didn't include a stimulus check. What do you guys think about that? Let me know about that, all right? Because with the stock market reaching new highs, it's much easier to make the argument that the economy is performing well and additional stimulus is unnecessary. While the stock market is not an accurate barometer of the economy as a whole, it does make the argument easier. <clears throat> and with the stock market stealing the headlines with record highs, lawmakers can actually push for other priorities. Now, this is not to say that the economy is performing well for all Americans. Remember, only about 52% of Americans own stock. This also shows where the GOP priorities lie. Even if many Americans are feeling the financial pinch right now, they appear to be focusing the aid toward those who are out of work. There seems like less of an appetite to send $1,200 to families that may also need it but are still earning a paycheck. Now, while we won't know what will happen with the draft, this does mark a departure from previous proposals. Because until this draft, every previous discussion included a stimulus check. So what's next? Well, the draft proposal is merely a draft and a Republican at that. It would still require the buy-in of the Democrats in the House of Representatives before it could ever become a law, and that seems very unlikely. The skinny bill doesn't address many of the issues. They have stalled negotiations, such as additional aid to states, and Democrats have been against any type of piecemeal legislation. Speaker Pelosi has called the White House back to Washington so that they can vote on a bill to fund the USPS, and she has insisted that the vote will be focused on just the USPS. Some have pointed out, right, that this move is a sign the Democrats are willing to try to pass some aspects of the next passage through piecemeal legislation, if it's important enough. Now, according to Politico, White House Chief of Staff Meadows plans to be at the Capitol for the vote to try to restart negotiations on the next package, which is an encouraging sign to all those waiting on additional stimulus. Wow, I don't know. Guys, what do you think about that? I mean, I know there's a lot of talk that's going on in these negotiations. However, I know for a fact that it's better to have and take responsibility for your own domain. Meaning, right? Meaning, let's build yourself a business, right? That's the number one tax strategy in the world. If you want, cash, $1,200 a month, $2,400 a month, right? Joint filing, get yourself a business. And that's one of the best ways to get that cash flow coming in. Provide a service that people want. All right, folks, listen, that is it for today. I want to say God bless. You take care.